Hey guys, it's me, Saran, back with another video. This video is like a reader request slash PSA slash rant slash everything. I have a lot of feelings that I'm about to fucking go in on right now, so prepare yourselves. Um, I got a request on Tumblr to make a video. Uh, about the Saida Grundy controversy. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Saida Grundy is a young um, black woman. She's a female uh, professor. She was supposed to be starting at, what is it? The, it's BU, so I don't know if that's University of Boston or Boston University, if there's a difference. I know sometimes there's like a difference in, in those things, but so we're just going to say BU. She was supposed to start, she is supposed to start in July as, as one of the um, adjunct African American studies professors. Um, and some people like went and like dug up some old tweets on her Twitter account and white people are all up in a tizzy over the tweets. Um, which the main tweet, it's like a whole series, I'll include some links for you guys to go read, but the main tweet that seems to be causing a problem um, is a tweet where she's talking about how white males of a certain age are a problem demographic. Uh, you guys know how I feel about that. I 100% agree. I have multiple videos now about white male rage um, and white domestic terrorism. I've talked about white fragility in other videos, which there, you know, there there is academic literature around this. There's all types of data. There have been all types of studies. Um, White males of a certain age, they have the highest suicide rates and suicidal tendencies. They also have the higher rates um, of being serial killers, mass killers, mass murderers. There's a whole lot of, of pathology and, and, you know, just social issues regarding the white male state in this country. Um, you know, and, and they're a problem demographic. They're a problem demographic. I have tons of videos that, of course, I will link, and I will also include cards for you guys if you want to um, go watch. But they're a problem demographic. It's proven. It's a proven statistical fact that they are a problem. Um, they have issues with women. They have issues with all different types of minorities. You know, black, white, uh, black, white, see, black, Hispanic, Asian, um, you know, typically white males have been a problem demographic because they have been the dominant group in this country since the founding of this country and they continue to kind of manifest these psychological problems um that's a fact <laughs> i'm not arguing with anyone about that that's not arguable it's not up for debate it is what it is like i said there have been tons of studies there's all kinds of academic literature on it and stats and statistics they're a fucking problem they're a problem right so she sent out some tweets about it and some some angsty ass white kids at the school, went and dug it up once they heard she was going to be one of the new professors and wrote this long, whatever, blog post or whatever shitty ass post about, oh, I don't feel comfortable with her teaching at BU because she so clearly has a bias against white people. Because who will think of the white people? Who will think of the white people? Save the white people. Who will think of them in this crazy society that we're living in? No one thinks of the white people. So they wrote this whole post about, I don't feel comfortable with her being a professor. I don't think that she should be allowed to teach white college-aged males or white males between a certain age because she so clearly has a prejudice or a bias. And then, you know, here come the replies. Yeah, you know... Anti-white racism is a huge problem with African American studies and everyone should love white people. All we did was fucking, you know, civilize the world, aka colonize and murder, rape, pillage everyone, and spread disease and do all kinds of horrible things to people, but you know, white people. Oh, everyone should love us. And if you don't love us, you can go to hell, bro. Go to hell, man. It was just like a whole big thing. It's it's and it's become a whole thing. There's a petition trying to get this woman fucking fired. Talking about how she's unfit to teach. And, of course, the academic provost and the president are all fucking scared of the white people because everyone is so terrified of white people that, you know, they, they have pretty much publicly condemned this woman. You know, they're saying that the tweets were offensive and that we don't stand by this kind of thing and blah, 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 blah. But this bitch is the first person to ever say that white males are a problem. She's not. She's not. 
They are a fucking problem, okay? There's been all types of fucking literature written, all types of articles. They are a problem. But it's like since, you know, they're still, you know, the number one powerful demographic in this, co in this country, we're, like, not allowed to talk about how white boys are a fucking problem. They are a problem. So this is blown up into this whole thing. Uh, clearly, my rant started early, but let's get back to the reader request portion. And someone sent me a request on Tumblr uh, asking me, you know, how do I feel about academia and POC, specifically black women who seem to pose such a threat to the institution, uh, and also how white feminists have stayed silent on this issue. Well, you know how I feel about white feminists. They don't give a fuck about us. White feminism is inherently racist. Um, it's more about, you know, becoming equal to, to men and becoming equal to white men than actually healing any type of disparity across the board for women, nine times out of ten. Um, you know, they just want to make, you know, their dollar to the white man's dollar. They really don't give a fuck about the rest of us. So, of course, they're not going to say shit. They're not going to go defend this woman, this black woman. I'm not surprised. Um... That's just the nature of white feminism. They don't give a fuck. If you're not white, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. And you know, honestly, that's that's really what I want. I'm going to get into that later, but that's really what I want. Is, that's the crux of this video. If you are not white and you're watching this video, listen. White people don't care about you. They don't care about you. They don't give a fuck about you. If you're not white, they do not care. And there's also been all types of academic literature and study done on that as well. The majority of the white population, they don't have the ability to feel empathy for non-whites. Period. Period. If you're not white, if you're not readily identifiable as white, if you don't have that white skin privilege, that white passing skin privilege, they don't give a fuck about you. Like Michael Jackson said, all I want to tell you is they don't really care about us. They don't care. They do not care care. Stop expecting them to care. Stop waiting for them to care. They don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. White feminists don't give a fuck about you. White dudes don't give a fuck about you. Like, they don't care. They don't care. Period. So, back to another portion of this ask. Um, my perspective on academia and POC, especially black women, you know, I have tons of friends that are in higher higher education that have, like, all types of, you know, master's degrees. I have a friend that's in school right now getting her doctorate. I have tons of friends that are lawyers, tons of friends that are lawyers, a um, couple doctor friends. I have a friend that's trained to be a physician's assistant. Uh, I have a friend that's in school right now getting her master's in business. You know, I understand. I went to college, I went to university, you know, I got a higher education degree, whatever. So I understand the concept of higher learning. I don't really fuck with it, though. Like, I'm an, like, I'm anti-capitalist. I've had some angry white people call me a communist before. I've been thinking about communism and socialism, just the, in terms of social theories and stuff like that. But I really don't respect um, higher education at this point in my life. I feel like it is a waste of time. I feel like it is a waste of money. I feel like you are going to school for a piece of paper to say that you have knowledge. You are not going to school for knowledge. Um, you know, I would love to become a psychologist or a socialist or, you know, things like that and, and be able to teach or, you know, give lectures and have those letters behind my name, whatever. But what, why, for what? I just don't see the point. I'm pretty sure I can learn, I can teach myself how to be a psychologist by watching videos on YouTube. I'm 100% sure I could probably watch a full four to six years of lectures for free on YouTube and, and do the required reading on my own, buying the books through Amazon or something like that, and teach myself. And I will have the same exact knowledge as the person that went to school for the four years and paid the $300,000 or something like that. The only thing is that I won't have that piece of paper saying I have the knowledge. Will I have the knowledge? Yes. Will I have the piece of paper? No. And I feel like that's not right, especially because to get the piece of paper is not free. To get the piece of paper is a privilege, right? 
and as a minority and as a woman, I'm already, you know, at a disadvantage in this, in this society. Um, I don't have privilege. So I feel like it's, it's a broken system. I feel like it's not fair. I feel like it's just another way to pump money into this capitalist society. Right now, you know, the student loan shit is booming. It's a completely unregulated uh, source of, of, of income for this country. So it's, it's, it's just a way to make money. You know, and the tuitions keep on rising, keep on rising. Mind you, mind you, the school doesn't have to give you anything in return. The school doesn't have to get you a job. The school doesn't have to, you know, guarantee you a certain amount of salary. You put all your money into these schools, and a lot of this money that goes back into the state, that goes back into the government, especially if it's a, it's, if it's a state school, a public school, a publicly funded school, you know, all this money is going somewhere, but you're not necessarily getting anything back except for that piece of paper that says that you got that knowledge, which you could have gotten the knowledge for free elsewhere. And I feel like a piece of paper is not worth one to $500,000. Um, and that's not to down anybody that's in school or anything like that. That's just how I feel about it. Um, you know, I tell people all the time, I told someone one time and they got really, really mad at me. I told my friend one time, I told her younger brother, he was 17 at the time. I told her younger brother, don't go to college. She's like, don't tell him that, don't tell him that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'm like, listen, don't go to college, right? This is what you should do. I was like, when you graduate, learn a trade. Go to trade school. Learn how to be an electrician. Learn how to be a plumber. Learn, I was like, learn something. I was like, learn a trade, learn a skill, get certified. Because once you have that trade, once you have that skill, no one can ever take that away from you. You know, and our society is always going to need, I mean, you know, unless like the zombie apocalypse comes, which, you know, it might. But, you know, as far as right now, as far as I'm concerned, our society is always going to need plumbers, always going to need electricians, always going to need nurses, always going to. There are certain things that we're always going to need. Right. You're always going to need a fucking Internet provider. <laughs> like there are certain things that our society is always going to need. So even if, you know, you cannot get a job with that $300,000 fucking liberal arts degree or whatever, you still have that trade. I was like, listen, don't go to college right out of high school. Go to trade school, learn a trade, get a job working that trade, and work your way through school. So that way you haven't accrued any type of debt. And even at the end, if you, if you get that degree and whatever you get it in and you can't find a job, you still have been working. You've been working your way through school. You have all types of work experience on your resume. You can work that job as an electrician or whatever for the rest of your life if you have to. Like, do that. No, 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 don't tell him that. Don't tell him to do that. Don't tell him to do that. He has to go to college. He has to go to college. And especially with black people, there's like this college, 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 college. Like, we're so wrapped up in this idea of college and black elitism and academia and education that we don't really stop and think, what is college even doing for us? What has improved? You know, we still have the highest unemployment rates. We still have the least amount of wealth. We still have these huge gaps and these huge disparities between us and especially white people. So it's like, what are we doing except pumping our money back into these institutions that by nature are racist, you know, and white supremacist institutions, right? That's really how I feel about POC and especially black people in academia. I think we blindly follow this without really thinking about what is it doing for us and is it actually good? Is it good? Is it good for us? We're following a model that one, I feel like in general, a lot of these models that we follow in America as a whole are outdated and don't work anymore. And especially in terms of black people, you know, minorities and POC, because we're following models that were not created with us in mind. We're following models that were created for white people. They don't work for us. They don't work for us, you know. They do not work for us. They just don't. And it really bugs me out, too, when I see people say, like, oh, the fucking cure to all the problems in the black community is education. Get more education. Like, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. So many people are, are not even going to have the opportunity to get, like, an education. Because they can't fucking pay for it because they don't have a job. And then even when they do get the education, they still can't guarantee that they're going to get a job. Like, they're just empty platitudes. They're just words that don't mean anything. Same things that we've been parroting for the last 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. Even though here we are in 2015 seeing that this shit ain't working. And maybe it's time to try a different approach. Um, that's no shade on Saida Grundy for 
wanting to teach and be a professor and, and, and this and that. Um, you know, I don't know. If that's what she wants to do, cool. That's not what I would do. When I had or have aspirations to teach, I, I really want to teach other black people. I don't want to sit in a majority white institution of higher learning and talk to white people about African American studies. I just don't see the point of that. It's really ridiculous to me and I don't fucking get it. But if that's what she wants to do, cool. It's unfortunate that now they're trying to get her fired over these tweets that 100% make sense and are absolutely true. But I'm not surprised, which leads me to the PSA portion of this video, which is that white people, one, white people are fucking delusional, okay? PSA, white people are fucking delusional. You can tell them the same thing over and over and over with all types of facts and knowledge and stats to back it up, and they're not going to believe you. White fragility, please, please read the paper by Robin D'Angelo, especially when it comes to race. They're not going to hear you. They're not going to believe you. Stop wasting your time talking to them, trying to drill some shit into your head. And part two of this PSA, white people don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. They're not going to hear you. They're delusional as hell because they've been indoctrinated with concepts of racism and white supremacy since they were born from being raised in this racist, white supremacist, capitalist, sexist society. So especially white males have a sense of entitlement and they have these ideas that are solid. They're concrete in their minds. And you're not going to change that. You're just not. You're not going to change that. So why even bother talking to them? It just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, like white people don't give a fuck about you. They tell you every day in various ways how they don't give a fuck about you and how they think you're fucking inferior because you're black and they're white. They t Every time that they tell you, oh, well, I don't think that white privilege is a thing. I just think that black people are lazy, are criminals, are bad people, don't want to work, don't want to do this, don't want to do that. What they're telling you is they don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> Especially when you say, well, here's all the mountains and mountains and piles and piles of data saying this is why this happened, this is why that happened. And they still look at you in your face and they say, well, I don't believe it. They don't care. They don't care. They do not care. They have 400 years of fucking breeding the empathy out of them for people of color and especially black people. When you look at black-white relations in this country, they don't give a fuck about you. They ain't fucking with you. They don't give a fuck, bitch. They don't give a fuck about you or anything that you do. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. It has to be all about them all the time. Stop engaging with them. Really, that's all I can say. Completely fucking withdraw. If this woman wants to continue teaching at this all-white fucking bullshit-ass school, that's on her. I have nothing to give her, Saida Grundy. I have literally nothing. I have nothing for you. You want to sit in a class with a bunch of fucking white boys that fucking hate you, that will probably let your ass on fire and fucking lynch you if they got the chance and teach them about African American studies? You go right ahead. You motherfucking go right ahead. If y'all want to go to these schools with these white people, y'all go right ahead. Go ahead. But stop acting shocked every single time shit like this happens. Fucking black people are like the woman in a shitty ass relationship that can't let go. And they keep going back and they keep going back and they keep chasing after this person that keeps telling them over and over again how much they fucking hate them and want them to die. And they're just like, baby, but baby, like, what can I do, baby? What can I do? What can I do, white person, to get you to fucking recognize that I'm a human being? What can I do? What can I do? Tell me. Tell me. I love you so much, white person. Tell me. What can I do? Nothing. Nothing. Something you can do. <laughs> Something you can do. All you, wh what do you do in those relationships? All you do is you reach a point where you realize, like, man, this person really doesn't give a fuck about me. I gotta, like, move on. Like, move on. Move on. Move on. Let's talk about all the HBCUs that are fucking closing because of a lack of funding. Meanwhile, our best and our brightest want to go teach African American studies at an all white school in Boston, which is well known for racism. How about you take your resources out of that school? They don't want you there. They don't want you there. Take your resources out of that school and go support an HBCU. How about that? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Begging for scraps from these white people that don't even give a fuck about us, want us to be in their institutions, in their schools, in their shops. They don't want us to be around them. So withdraw. With fucking draw. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense.
doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me at all. I just don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. There's two Americas. There's two versions of the world. There's, there, there, there's two everything. I don't give a fuck. They ended segregation by law, but they did not fucking end it in terms of practice. Shit is still going on, right? And all we want to do is chase after these people and beg for some type of validation from them. Fuck that. Fuck these people. Don't care. Don't care. Now, I'm not saying quit your jobs or nothing like that. Because, <laughs> unfortunately, they are the dominant group in this, in this fucking country. And we fucking have to work with them and see them and this and that. But when you have a choice, when you have a choice, leave those people alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. Stop moving into their communities. Stop buying your products from them. Stop giving them your money, your time, your attention. Leave them the hell alone. Disengage. They're trying to get this woman fired. Think about that. Think about that. She sent out a tweet saying how white males of a certain age group are a problem demographic. She's not the first person to ever say that. Their, their, first of all, their lack of empathy, their inability to understand, their inability to critically think about any type of critical race theory coming from a black woman. They're trying to get this woman fired. That's how Mercedes don't want her there. If I was her, I would leave. Okay. You don't want me here? That's fine. These people don't give a fuck about you and they're not going to change. Seriously. Disengage from these white fucking communities. Stop putting your money in these fucking colleges. Right? Come on. All these fucking all all these fucking systematic societal institutions are doing anyway is indoctrinating us black people with more fucking Eurocentric white supremacist bullshit and making us internalize more racism about ourselves and towards each other. Pull that fuck out. Abandon ship. Danger Will Robinson. That's just really all I have to say about it. Um, I'm really not a fan of fucking people of color and acad and white academia. I feel like it's extremely problematic um i don't understand why people keep getting surprised every single time when white people show you that they fucking hate you that they think that you're inferior that they want to completely remove you from the planet they have a whole entertainment and media industry where they fucking have movies and tv shows and songs and music videos where they completely don't put black people so they can retreat into a fantasy world where you don't exist like how like what the definition of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. White people been saying for how long now that they don't want us here, that they don't care about us, and that they fucking feel like they're better than us. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. I don't know what else to say. Of course, I'll include links for you guys to read, and there will be cards um, in this video. But that's how I feel. PSA, rant video, reader request. I'm sorry that happened to her, but I'm 100% not surprised. Stop being surprised. People don't give a fuck about you. And white males are a problem demographic. Proof of that is always peace.